Hey there guys, it's Rich from Newbie Prepping, and I'm finally back with another What A Piece Of Kit video. It's been a while, but that doesn't matter, you're only here to see why the heck I'm trying to convince you to make your own sewing kit for your bucket bags. You might be thinking, um, why is a sewing kit necessary, to which I uh, would respond. Have you ever worn clothes before? They tear, seams come apart, and they need to be fixed. You think you're going to be able to go to the shop and buy a new t-shirt or trousers after shit has hit the fan? Of course not. So you'll be fixing your own stuff in the field or forest, or coastline, or wherever it is that you're bugged out at. Of course, you could buy those uh, pre-made sewing kits, uh, travel sewing kits from your favourite online store, but I'd argue that they aren't really ideal for a survival bag, even the specifically military-style ones. A travel sewing kit may seem really good, especially if you get one of the huge carry cases, but you're not going to want half of your survival bag filled up by a sewing kit. But the smaller ones don't really carry enough thread, so would only be good for a few repairs. The needles are mostly thin and weak, bar one or two good ones, uh, so if you're repairing heavy duty clothing or a tent, uh, then they're more than likely to snap. Also, the majority of the thread is very bright and colourful, and hey, I know, I know, most sewing jobs leave the thread almost completely unseen, but jobs where the thread is seen, like fixing an outside pocket on your trousers, for example, you need dark coloured thread. You generally get a lot for your money with one of the bigger kits, but they're not massively ideal for taking with you. Not when it can be condensed down. As long as it doesn't condense down uh, so much that it's like one of those small uh, travel kits that are practically useless. Uh, I've seen military style sewing kits too, and I've come so close to buying one, but I just couldn't. It's the same problem as with the small travel sewing kit. You don't get that much stuff. I mean, it's probably enough for a serviceman who is out on a mission and needs to do a quick repair, but in a bug-out bag, a uh, SHTF scenario where you may never be coming back home, there is so much more that you could fit into that specific amount of space. And so, I'm going to show to you now what I have made myself. Let's get on to it. And here it is. This is my sewing kit. Um, I bought one of these uh, uh, Barclays mint tins in a service station. I'm sure you can get these tins anywhere online, but uh, uh, honestly, I do like when I find stuff in the wild, in person, and I just buy it there and then because I don't have to wait for shipping, and then sometimes I'm disappointed that it's not good enough or uh, when it finally arrives. You know how it is. If you've ever shopped online, you know how it is. Anyway, so let's open it up. So, inside, we've got a little bag here with a bunch of thread. And then in the bottom here, you can see we've got a bunch of needles. Let's start with the needles. Um, so, I'm going to put here the two sets of needles that I bought online. Uh, they're sailing needles. Uh, well, when I was searching for them, I was searching for sailing needles. Uh, because I wanted them to be specifically very thick. Uh, nice and thick and very strong. Um, uh, on the packaging, uh, when you buy the needles, uh, <laughs> you know, that's slightly bent there, but um, I tell you what, that's still very strong. Uh, the only reason why this is bent here uh, is because I was sewing very, very thick leather, uh, and that was the only bowing that happened uh, when I was sewing that leather, so hey. That's just a, uh, a testament to how strong they are. Uh, but yes, so uh, on the packaging of these needles, uh, they uh, say what each uh, needle is specifically used for. Um, but honestly, I would probably just use them as and when. <laughs> uh, whichever one feels most comfortable to me at the time. I suppose, you know, if... Uh, if you're only sewing like uh, uh, just regular cotton, uh, then yeah, you would only need something like this. But there you go. Um, but these needles are specifically designed for uh, thicker material like canvas and uh, sa like with sailing needles. Uh, so thicker stuff, essentially. Those are the needles that I would recommend. And uh, in this bag, I have... Uh, let's start off with these ones because these are very survival based. Uh, so I got these from Amazon, but you can also get them from uh, this website. 
this is Kevlar thread, 10 meters of Kevlar thread. Um, obviously, everyone should know about Kevlar, very tough stuff. It's what body armor is made of. Uh, so that makes this thread very, very thick and very, very strong. Um, so uh, I figured having 30 meters of Kevlar thread for uh, when I absolutely have to make sure that something is fixed together, I'll use this stuff. Um, but there we go. So that's uh, uh, that's like the real emergency sort of stuff. Um, my friend Tony here, uh, my, my friend Tony uh, gave me uh, this uh, canvas. If it'll focus. Yeah, he gave me this canvas thread, uh, thread specifically made for uh, um, sewing together canvas. Uh, this thread is extremely, th extremely strong. It's uh, well, it's designed to sew and keep together a canvas, uh, which is you know, um, it needs to be very strong. Basically, uh, just got it on this like little makeshift spool and uh, some uh, masking tape just to keep it together. Uh, I tried uh, when I was around his place when he gave me this. Uh, I tried like getting some of it and just pulling it apart, and I just couldn't do it. Um, uh, it was cutting more into my skin, uh, like it, not cutting, but like it was like leaving like an impression in my skin. That's how uh, thick and strong it was. I've got these ones here because uh, you don't want to just be using your like ultra strong ones all uh, all the time because these ones are more for like emergency sort of things. Like, uh, uh, but if uh, your t-shirt, let's say just a t-shirt, has got a tear in it. Uh, you're not going to want to waste uh, Kevlar thread or this thread on fixing a t-shirt. So I got these here. And um, these are uh, from a company called Singer. Uh, it's uh, basically just uh, travel thread. Um, you get lots of them here. Uh, and I'm just going to put this into my regular sewing kit because, yes, I am uh, quite the sewer. Uh, since I'm a metal fan and uh, I have quite a few... Uh, 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 patchy jackets or battle jackets as they want to call them uh, anyway that's besides the point so like I was saying before uh, I've only the only colors that I've brought with me uh, as you can see here I've left all the bright colors the only colors that I'm putting into this pack here uh, are the darker colors um, right now this looks pretty bright but it is actually quite a dark color it's just because the light is shining on it quite a bit um, uh, even this one is quite bright, I guess, but like it, it's still kind of a dull, muted color. Um, it's not exactly going to be super easy to see. Uh, so yeah, and these are uh, each of these spools is ten meters. So this thread is literally just going to be there as uh, a regular sort of thread, uh, just for fixing. I don't know, like holes in socks, holes in t-shirts, uh, uh, superficial tears. A tear that could turn into uh, a bigger, bigger, bigger tear. Uh, so just stop it in its tracks. Um, so yeah, there we go. Uh, so this here is my sewing kit. This is something I would heartily recommend. Um, the kit is nice and small. It's very um, uh, non-intrusive. Uh, and yet we still have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. 80 meters of thread here. Um, uh, 10 meters of thread on each one of these, 30 uh, of that, and uh, quite a lot of this stuff. Um, uh, I can't remember exactly how much of this, but, you know, we've got pretty much all we need covered here. This will last a good long while, and you might, even if you are still thinking, oh, that's not enough, that's not enough, well, I'll tell you what, make up two or three of these kits with the exact same stuff in, and you will have thread for years not thread for days but thread for years uh, so there we go anyway thank you very much for watching that has been another episode of what a piece of kits i've been rich with newbie prepping and thank you very much for watching we'll see you again bye bye